Hello and happy Sunday. So today, uh, I've got some mystery comic packs to open up for you. I've got three that contain five comics. And I just saw this at Ollie's. It's hardcover Batman the Killing Joke. Uh, pretty excited to own this. This is a really famous uh, Batman story about the Joker and Batgirl. And they made it into a movie. And I really excited to own this really beautiful graphic novel in hardcover so um pretty excited about that and i thought you would enjoy if we went through some comics so i think we'll start with um ultimate marvel team up and as always i'm going to uh open the pack up and then show you the comics one by one and then we're gonna look through them Find a little place to open it. <laughs> there is a little seam here somewhere. Yeah, that was uh, strangely hard. Okay, the first comic is Riverdale. And speaking of Riverdale, I found this uh, Jughead action figure for $3.99. Um, I used to read Archie comics when I was a kid. And um, the this is how I like Archie, you know, like the old style. Not, not this Riverdale thing, but... I saw this and I'm like, I always loved Drug Ed. He was my favorite character. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So this is a neat matte finish Riverdale. And it feels really good. It's a very pretty cover too. On the back, there's a description of the story. It's Josie from Josie and the Pussycats. Archie, I guess that's Betty, Veronica, and Jughead. And I guess this is based on the TV show. Stories by Roberto Aguirre. Sacasa. So, um, Riverdale High, and they're in school. And then there's a food fight in the cafeteria. Pretty good artwork, actually. Um, I like how Josie wears the little cat ears, so you know it's Josie from Josie and the Pussycats. Um, I've seen these Archie comics range from everything from innocent to just, um, satanic to Christian themed to everything. They're just, Archie is so all over the place as a franchise. I'm not exactly sure what future it has because so many of these end up in Ollie's. But it's still, uh, here's a Riverdale character guide, which is interesting. So Josie McCoy, as we mentioned, was in Josie and the Pussycats. Cheryl Blossom. Um, she's Betty and Veronica's arch nemesis. Archie Andrews, Betty Cooper. Veronica Lodge and Hermione Lodge. I don't remember anyone named Hermione when I read the comic. And Jughead Jones, who is all dark and brooding instead of being the goofy but still voice of reason character so we get some ads for other riverdale comics some artwork but i i don't know how popular it is maybe it's really popular i don't know what do we have here this is another one of these um double take i i've found some of these before these um graphic novels uh there's like a series of these and i wonder if i have the other ones i might um yeah i do actually have some of these other ones i have um honor and medic so I, this is my third one 
which is pretty cool. Um, so I guess I'm collecting these now. Uh, so this is home, lighter than air. These um, graphic novel stories, it's uh, very dark. Um, so, so I might as well just keep collecting the set. The artwork's pretty good. And they, yeah, I remember these have recipes in them, like 1950s style recipes. This is one that I'd kind of put it, I put it in my shelf to read later. I haven't gotten around to reading them yet because they look interesting. Yeah. And it's definitely got some adult themes in it. But pretty good artwork. A TV Prime Guide, and it has old shows, real shows, like Girl from Uncle, Dottari, Gilligan's Island, for 1966. That's pretty cool, too. That was what originally had intrigued me about this. Walter Cronkite on TV. Oh, the dog's carrying a... Uh, severed hand looks like a ripped off hand and the artwork changes sometimes they do that to for tonal shifts in comics they'll change the artwork <laughs> the book ad and these are real books like to kill a mockingbird and so forth port noise complaint the, the godfather um 1960s music festival. And some truly adult themes here. We're going to just flip through that. Uh, premiere movies. And it shows uh, all the, the years of the 60s. Like Lawrence of Arabia, 1962, you know. It's, it give, it, I, the whole purpose of these little interludes is to get you into the spirit of the period, which is a really cool thing to do. Yeah, I really uh, thought when I first saw these that these were really interesting looking comics. With some very adult themes. Vine Records, you have Ray Charles and the Alan, uh, Alan Sherman, Beach Boys. And I think it's a zombie story. Some news stories. Home economics, how much things cost. No, the little hand is walking, like the Adams family.
a buyer's guide of products from this time period. If you watch my channel, you know this is a lot of stuff that I'm interested in anyway, like old timey records and uh, here's the other uh one the other ones. We've got two of them already. We've got Honor and Medic. So there's quite a few of these. Old newspaper advertisement. Ten graphic novels available now. And we've got three so far. So that's pretty good. Wait a second. Is there, um... I think... Yeah, I think I've got them. Oh, yeah. Okay, next is... Bubblegum. Bubblegun. Uh, it's on coffee. Um... This is one of those Aspen comics. Kind of luck of the draw. Sometimes you get some really interesting ones. The artwork in this so far is pretty good. I'll say that. The artwork's really good. You hear that thunder? Having a rainy weekend. It's actually pretty good. The artwork at least. It's actually looking pretty dark on the inside, but uh, the outside cover makes it look kind of like goofy teen oriented or something. This is Soft Spots by Action Lab. It looks like some kind of 80s cartoon. We got an ad for Marvel in the back. And um, does that mean the Action Lab is a subsidiary of Marvel? It might very well be. Well, this is just adorable, isn't it? Um, little colored puppies. So very colorful it looks like it's for children glitter colorful puppies crafts yeah this is a like a kids comic um, but it's, it looks cute all the same, but I never realized that Action Lab must be associated with Marvel. And finally we get an Ultimate Marvel team up. This looks like an older comic. Um, this is from 2001, so it's kind of older. It's 22 years old. Got a cheese nips add in the back. Starts out the Daily Bugle. If that's J. Jonah Jameson, he looks furry. Tobacco is wacko. I remember that ad in comics a lot. This is, oh, there's J. Jonah Jameson. This is when comics were trying to be all uh, responsible. Now they're just nihilistic and um, yet yeah, overly, overly. Uh, I mean, they don't touch on things like smoking and stuff anymore, but their morality-wise, though, they really declined. So we got the Hulk and Spider-Man. Uh, pretty good, pretty decent uh, artwork. We got SpongeBob. At, that just tells you how old SpongeBob is at this point. 
a little free demo. <laughs> yeah, you can cut this little Mario out. But why would you want to run your comic? We got an ad for some Marvel action figures. Marvel dark side figures. Uh, an old ad for Mr. Atlas. Is this for real? Are they still, they still were running these in 2001? These old Charles Atlas? My goodness. So that's a, some recent history right there. So that's the first pack. Get some coffee. Let's open the next one. Yeah, I'm, having, I'm struggling. I wasn't one of the gifted kids, okay? So, I have to struggle with things a little bit here. Okay. I'm also not the guy, a guy who's going to edit my videos to death. One of the things about my videos is I do everything in real time. I only edit out, like, really embarrassing things. Like, if I you know, have a really terrible sneeze or something. Okay. Let's start with... Vampironica, like a little bit of a take on Vampira, and it's Archie's comic. Um, so, and this is a dark comic because it shows like a murder on the back. Um, it's full of blood and great gothic art. I like it already. Already like it. You got pirates, Elizabethan looking people, lots of hacking and slashing and blood and yeah, for an Archie's comic, like I'm telling you, Archie runs the gambit of Strange. So this guy's shot, and he's down, he's eaten by a shark, he swims away, he lands on the island, he bites some natives, some indigenous people, um, he finds it. The artwork in this is top-notch, I might have to keep this comic, just because it's so interesting um good looking great art the way the blood jumps out at you gruesome graphic and at some point veronica is going to become a vampire so this is part of that series Vampironica. <laughs> Jughead the Hunger. They, they've they just gone all over the place with Archie. And there's Archie, Afterlife with Archie. Oh my goodness. It's it's so, all the tonal shifts these days. The next one is The Harcourt's Legacy by Action Lab. Um... Dollface ad on the back. Another one with really good artwork. I'm really liking it. The modern comic. She's got earbuds. It's definitely from modern times. The the artwork is still okay, but it's also not as good as it's, as I thought when it started out. But it looks to be uh, another horror comic. Or as they say down here in my neck of the woods, a horror comic. We definitely don't want to confuse that word with W-H-O-R-E. So, interesting. 
Hmm. Next is Strain. I don't think it's the game about the lost cat. It's another action lab. Ninjagato, Lego Ninjagato on the back. So the Action Lab has got to be, you know, to get ads with Lego and stuff, it's got to be established with a, a major comic book company like Marvel. So I guess it's kind of like, you know, Touchstone movies or, you know, or, you know, they're, they're actually, they look like indie companies, but they're associated with bigger movie studios. I don't know if you watch A24 movies, but they're all, almost every A24 movie that comes out is interesting. I found um, I've really enjoyed almost all of them. They're all that's. I mean, now when I see the A24 logo, I know I'm probably gonna at least see something interesting. I may not like it, and it may be dark, but it's probably better than all the mainstream schlock that's coming out these days. This is decent. Mm. Straight action figure. They did a lot of these action figure covers. Which is ironic because they did all this action figure. Oh, I like that. They did all this action figure stuff, but now action figures themselves are, are just not selling these days anymore. You see more of them, more of them just turning up in clearance. Um, next one is Blue Hour. Uh, another Action Lab one. And there's an ad for Disney Jedi Academy on the back. Blue Hour Hostile Territory. It's very orange and brown. Interesting. So many different comics and stories. Okay, next is X Men issue 207, Messiah Complex, chapter 13. Uh, I don't think I have any of these, so. Um, friends aren't disposable. If your friend is doing drugs or drinking, bring them back. This is when comics were responsible. Is. Uh, What's the date on this? It's in the aughts. It's, um... 2008. And that gives you a previously on Messiah Complex. Dark, but pretty decent artwork. You see the X-Men fighting. Opens up with a battle scene. There's Rogue, Mystique, um, Colossus, there's Professor X and Cyclops, so they're recognizable as X-Men.
Do you see also see over the years how the art changes? Did Professor X die again? Okay, and then there's a black page. Terminator, the Sir Connor Chronicle. She was the one in uh, Firefly. Okay. All right, next comic book pack. start out with a old warlock in plastic so let's check it out no oh, this tape just tears this thing was put in plastic so long ago it's in good shape it's um an oldie 90s for sure with that no, nope, it's 2000s. It's 23 years old, but it's got the old time paper. Still kind of looks like an old timey comic, though. The world is not enough. That's when Pierce was still 007. Before Daniel Craig. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see. The next one is, um, I guess I'll put this back in the pack. And if it's valuable.
um, this is Kid Sherlock by Action Lab. Another one of these like kid kiddish comics. Never really heard of this one. I'm not a big fan of this type of artwork. And it's a learn to draw lesson. This is definitely something for kids. Learn to draw hands and faces. It's, it's cute. I mean, harmless stuff. Some more activities. It's like an activity book. Uh, next is Action Verse. Um. Another one of these action, quite a lot of action lab on this one. The artwork in this is pretty good. It looks like a zombie invasion. These are some of the uh, lesser known superheroes. Ginger Dead Man. <laughs> yeah. Um, next, another one of these. Oh, miraculous ones. Oh, gosh. Uh, th this is definitely like a, a kid's one. The uh, the, the artwork is kind of neat, but they're like these little insect. I've run into a bunch of these. They end up in Ollie's bags a lot. But it's definitely like a kid comic, and it seems to be totally harmless. But... It's probably the least of my cup of tea of all of these. Um, I'm kind of, I always like look forward to opening these because I never know what I'll find. Like I found that graphic novel or I might find a copy of the Victorian to add my collection or a Star Trek, but here's an old Superman. Um, maybe not that old, it's uh, Let's see, there's an ad for Kohl's. It's good, good artwork. Um, is that Halle Berry Catwoman? Yeah, this is this is probably fairly old. If that's the Halle Berry Catwoman, a, a milk mustache ad with some biker guy. Um, Terminator Three: The Redemption. Oh, this is PS2 times, so... Yeah, this is close to the Alien vs. Predator. This is close to the two th early 2000s. Pretty good artwork though, clear so. And finally, I wanted to show you this. This is um, Batman the Killing Joke, hardcover, uh, very, very deluxe. Um, try to take the plastic off this.
Okay, so I took off the plastic. It says, I love the Killing Joke. It's my favorite. It's the first comic I've ever loved from Tim Burton, the guy who did uh, the Batman movies. Uh, look at the inside cover. Really cool. It's got Batman and the Joker and a struggle, and you see ha 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 all over. He he he. It's really very nice. And we've got a Joker card on the back. So, very cool. This is definitely a deluxe. Uh, deluxe version of this comic just two eyes wow it looks great wonderful artwork dark and moody the interrogation scene with Batman and the Joker the flashbacks Barbara Gordon. Very dark material in this one, not for kids at all. And then we get, I don't know if this is called the ash can or what, we get the part in the end. The penguin, we saw poison ivy, two face. Just a really uh, nice hardcover book here. Very cool. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed the video today. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, click the bell icon. And um, leave a comment. And until next time, bye.